A while back, Apple announced a new iPhone feature that went completely under the radar. The feature was called Dock Kit, and it allowed you to attach your iPhone to a gimbal, and then it would autonomously follow you around wherever you went. See, the big deal with this is that it didn't require any third-party software. It worked directly in Apple's native camera app, giving you a seamless experience and allowing you to record content in the highest quality possible. I tried it for the first time about a year ago and was super impressed with the way it worked. Well, since then, both Apple and Insta360 have made some major updates, and today I want to show you how Dock Kit works on the new Insta360 Flow 2 Pro. There's some really solid hardware improvements, Apple's Dock Kit feels better than ever, and the Insta360 AI app just got even better with some crazy new features. So let me show you all of this, and a huge thank you to Insta360 for sponsoring this entire video. First, setting up Apple Dock Kit is incredibly easy. There's a built-in NFC tag on the gimbal, so you just hold your phone close to that, and right away you'll get a pop-up asking to pair. It just takes one tap to pair these devices together, and then a few seconds later, you're good to go. And because Apple Dock Kit doesn't require anything else but this initial link, all you have to do is open up the camera, and you can start using the feature immediately. You'll notice instantly that it begins tracking me, and because I'm using the Insta360 Flow 2 Pro, it has infinite panning, so you can go in a full circle 360 degrees, and the gimbal will continuously follow you around. But the best part of Dock Kit is it does doesn't just work in Apple's camera app. It actually works natively in over 200 plus apps available on the App Store. I found this really useful in apps like TikTok and Instagram. As somebody who is a creator, it is so helpful to have your own personal AI cameraman that is always keeping you centered in the frame. I really wish I had something like this a few years ago. It even works with your Mac too. You can use the continuity camera feature to get the higher quality from your iPhone camera instead of your Mac webcam. And again, when talking to folks here, the quality is so much better and it's hilarious to see their reaction as I get up and start working around. They just don't know how my camera is following me, allowing me to still be engaged while on the go. To be fair though, sometimes you want manual control over what you're shooting and now using your Apple Watch, you can control the gimbal from afar completely wireless. Using the Insta360 Apple Watch app, you can adjust things like the angle from your wrist, which is pretty cool to see this happen in real time. There's also some other settings you can change here too, but having this dedicated Apple Watch app is what really makes it feel integrated and first party. I mean, Insta360 nailed that part of the experience. And when I talk about the experience, I'm not just talking about in the software, it's the hardware and the feel of everything together. That's also why this feels so Apple-y, because the Flow 2 Pro has been improved in a number of key areas from the previous version. For starters, they have nailed the feel in your hand. That's because they've extended the actual anti-slip handle a bit and also optimized the weight distribution, so it feels much much more balanced, especially over an extended period of time. There's also a new selfie mirror on here. So sometimes when you're filming with your back cameras, you don't know your exact framing or really what you look like. And now with this, you get a little preview, which isn't perfect, but it's actually more useful than I would have assumed. And when you do want to set it up and put it into tripod mode, they have made this so much better. The legs are a lot longer, which has increased the stability dramatically. And I have more confidence than ever that this thing is not tipping over. All of this is built into a design by the way, that is incredibly portable. When you fold it up, it's super compact, and then when you want to start shooting again, it just takes a second to unfold, which has become a benchmark of any great Insta360 gimbal. And of course, you're still getting Insta360's rock-solid three-axis stabilization, which is the baseline for any great gimbal. Plus, you're no longer limited to phone clamps. There's a new MagSafe mount that lets you snap your phone on in an instant. There's no tools or hassle. You can start shooting immediately. Now, with this new design, there's also a brand new feature that is never been available on an Insta360 gimbal before, and that's what's called free tilt mode, which allows you to get some of the coolest shots I've ever seen on a phone. Free tilt mode gives you not just crane shots where you get this wide range of motion that looks like you're using professional equipment, but also tilt shots where the camera can move up and down vertically, giving you this sick effect. Personally, out of everything I tested, this is the mode that blew me away the most. I'm somebody that loves video, and this is wild that you can do this with a smartphone, your hand, and a gimbal. Now, so far, up until this point, we haven't even talked about the Insta360 app on your phone, which is the other half of the story that takes this gimbal from being really useful to just crazy overpowered. This app has some of the best AI tracking I have ever tested in my life, thanks to the new AI Deep Track 4.0. You just intuitively draw a box around something, and then your gimbal will automatically lock onto that and start following. There are a ton of different modes and settings you can play around with, but I was most impressed, actually, when 
when it came to multi-person tracking. This is a new feature that they recently added where you can have multiple subjects now as the center of what you're shooting. Previously, you could only do one, and especially when you're using the front-facing camera, you don't have to worry about keeping you and your friends in frame because the gimbal is doing it automatically for you. But to really push the boundaries of what the gimbal and the Insta360 AI can do, they've added an iOS exclusive feature called active zoom tracking, which is pretty wild to see. Essentially, you put the gimbal on a tripod and it can now at zoom follow a subject around even if you are pretty far away, especially useful in the context of playing a sport or something. You don't have to be right up next to them actively tracking. The gimbal will take care of anything on its own, hence the active zoom functionality. And I have a feeling this is iOS exclusive because there's a lot of processing power going in to making this all happen in real time. Now, if you like a lot of these AI features that are built into the Insta360 app, Insta360 also offers a standard Flow 2 gimbal. And even though Flow 2 doesn't support Apple Dockit, when you pair it with the AI tracker, it can still achieve native camera tracking and work with 200 plus third-party apps. Plus, you're still getting the same great stabilization at a more budget-friendly price. So don't miss out on my exclusive Apple Track offer. The first 20 orders of both gimbals will receive a 10% discount. And in addition, the Flow 2 Pro will come with a MagSafe mount as a gift, and the Flow 2 will come with an AI tracker as a gift. A huge thank you to Insta360 for sponsoring this entire video. Their gimbals continue to blow my mind year in, year out. I've been working with them for a while now, and they just keep getting better. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Sam, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.